In Niger State, Organized Labor has rejected the palliatives provided by the state governor and prohibited its members from participating in its distribution. The union declared this in a meeting with journalists in MENA. Chenemi Bamiyi reports. On the 1st of September, the Niger State Governor Umar Bagu laid out modalities for the distribution of the 2 billion naira palliative fund and the additional 2 billion naira provided by the state government to cushion the effect of the fuel subsidy removal. 21 local government, each local, each ward will get 10, 10 million. But in Suleja, it will be 20, 20 million. In Bida, 20, 20 million. Kotoga, 20 million. And Mina, 20, 20 million. That will bring the total of amount in cash. But organized labor in Niger State is displeased with the sharing formula, insisting that it does not adequately capture the interests of its members. While briefing journalists, the union demanded that the agreement reached with the governor in their last meeting be fully implemented. They didn't include us. They didn't include the working class in the whole idea of uh, palliatives. Labor totally rejects not the amount, even the idea of giving organized labor palliative instead of the generality of our members. We are not rejecting the amount as per se. We are saying if they shouldn't give us palliative as organized labor, they should give our members. That is what we are saying. This disagreement is coming on the heels of a proposed industrial strike action by the National Union of the Organized Labor on Tuesday. Chen Bami, TVC News,